everything you like about America, everything you like about white civilization is gone. All you're going to have left is China. That's it. If Trump, if Trump loses... Hey, America First Warriors. Welcome back to another deep dive into the unstoppable force that is Nick Fuentes and how his uncanny ability to foresee events is a game changer in our fight to win Groper War II. Today, we are going to explore how Nick's incredible intelligence isn't just impressive, it's downright prophetic. His ability to see the future before anyone else has positioned him as the leader we need, the strategist who's always three steps ahead. We'll be breaking down three mind-blowing predictions Nick made that prove he's not just smart, he's practically clairvoyant. So, let's dive in and see how Nick's foresight will help us crush the opposition in Groper War II. Let's kick things off with one of Nick's most impressive predictions. The fact that he saw, long before anyone else, that Trump's 2024 campaign would be a watered-down, more moderate version of the firebrand campaign that electrified the nation in 2016. While others were still basking in the glory of Trump's first victory, Nick was already sounding the alarm, warning that Trump's future campaign would stray from the hardcore America first principles that got him elected in the first place. Nick, with his unparalleled understanding of the political landscape, saw the writing on the wall. He knew that as Trump's advisers became more entrenched in the swamp, they would push him towards a more moderate stance, one designed to appease the establishment rather than energize the base. And guess what? He was right. As Trump's 2024 campaign began to take shape, it was clear that the bold, unapologetic rhetoric of 2016 had been replaced with a softer, more cautious approach, just as Nick had predicted. But Nick didn't just predict this shift, he also had the foresight to recognize its consequences. He knew that a moderate Trump campaign would alienate the very voters who had propelled him to victory in 2016. The Groypers, the true believers in America first, would feel betrayed, and without their fervent support, Trump's path to victory would be in jeopardy. Nick's ability to see this coming allowed him to prepare for Groper War II, a campaign to steer Trump back to his right-wing roots and ensure that the voice of the base is not ignored. Nick's prescience is a testament to his deep understanding of both the man and the movement. He knows Trump better than Trump knows himself, and his ability to foresee the campaign's trajectory has allowed him to position himself as the leader who can correct its course. Groper War II is Nick's plan to bring Trump back to the principles that made him a political force, and it's all thanks to Nick's uncanny ability to predict the future. In conclusion, Nick Fuentes didn't just predict that Trump's 2024 campaign would be more moderate, he saw it coming from miles away. His foresight has given us the chance to take action before it's too late, rallying the Groypers to demand a return to the bold, uncompromising conservatism that won Trump the White House in 2016. This is just one example of how Nick's intelligence and strategic mind are guiding us in Groper War II, ensuring that we stay ahead of the game and fight for the future we believe in. Next up, let's talk about another chillingly accurate prediction made by Nick Fuentes, his foresight regarding the fate of the January 6th protesters. Long before the mainstream media started paying attention to the plight of those involved in the Capitol events, Nick was already warning that these patriots would be unjustly targeted, charged with crimes far beyond their actual involvement, and coerced into betraying their peers in exchange for leniency. And, as usual, Nick was spot on. Nick's understanding of the corrupt judicial system and the deep state's thirst for vengeance led him to see what many others couldn't, or wouldn't, acknowledge. He knew that the government would use January 6 as a pretext to crack down on Trump supporters, making an example of them to intimidate the rest of the movement. He foresaw that the justice system, which should be impartial, would instead become a weapon used to crush dissent and silence those who dared to challenge the status quo. As the trials of January 6 protesters began to unfold, it became painfully clear just how accurate Nick's predictions were. Protesters were slapped with exaggerated charges, some of them facing years in prison for simply being present at the Capitol. Worse yet, they were pressured to turn against their fellow patriots, to provide testimony that could be used to incriminate others in exchange for reduced sentences. 
Nick had warned us of this exact scenario, and his foresight allowed us to prepare for the onslaught. But Nick didn't just predict this travesty, he also offered a solution. He called on the Groypers to stand in solidarity with those unjustly persecuted, to raise awareness of the injustice, and to fight back against the deep state's attempts to divide and conquer the movement. Groyper War II isn't just about protesting Trump's moderation, it's also about standing up for those who have been wronged, ensuring that their sacrifices aren't in vain. Nick's ability to foresee the persecution of January 6 protesters is another example of his strategic genius. He saw the storm coming long before anyone else and had the wisdom to prepare for it. This foresight has allowed us to rally around those who need our support the most and to continue the fight for justice in the face of overwhelming odds. In conclusion, Nick Fuentes' prediction about the fate of the January 6 protesters was eerily accurate, showcasing his deep understanding of the political landscape and his ability to anticipate the actions of our adversaries. Groyper War II is our response to the injustices he foresaw, and under Nick's leadership, we will continue to fight for those who have been wronged, ensuring that their sacrifices are honored and their voices are heard. Finally, let's delve into Nick Fuentes' most prophetic prediction yet, his foresight that the leftist movement would eventually devolve into outright satanic worship. While this may have sounded far-fetched to some at the time, Nick's understanding of the left's moral decay and their increasing hostility towards traditional values led him to predict this descent into darkness. And as we've seen in recent years, the signs of this disturbing trend are becoming impossible to ignore. Nick's prediction wasn't just based on hyperbole, it was rooted in his deep understanding of cultural shifts and the left's obsession with subverting everything that is good, holy, and true. He saw that as the left continued to push boundaries, rejecting the moral foundations that have guided Western civilization for centuries, they would eventually embrace the very antithesis of those values. Nick foresaw that the left's hatred for Christianity and its principles would lead them to glorify the ultimate symbol of rebellion against God, Satan himself. As time has gone on, Nick's prediction has proven disturbingly accurate. From the rise of satanic imagery in popular culture to the increasing acceptance of satanic practices as a form of progressive expression, the left has indeed begun to flirt with the demonic. Nick warned us that this was coming, and his prediction has been vindicated as we witness the left's continued descent into moral chaos. Groyper War II isn't just a political battle, it's a spiritual one, a fight for the soul of our nation against the forces of darkness. But Nick didn't just predict this trend, he also prepared us for it. He has consistently emphasized the importance of faith in our movement, reminding us that our struggle isn't just about politics, but about defending the values that have been handed down to us through the ages. Groypa War II is as much about protecting our faith as it is about restoring our nation, and Nick's foresight has ensured that we are ready to confront the growing influence of satanic forces in our culture. Nick's ability to foresee the left's embrace of satanic imagery and practices is a testament to his unparalleled insight into the cultural currents that shape our society. He understood that the left's rebellion against God would eventually lead them down this dark path, and he has prepared us to fight back against it. Groyper War II is our stand against the moral decay that Nick predicted, and with his guidance, we will continue to defend our faith and our values against the forces that seek to destroy them. In conclusion, Nick Fuentes' prediction that the left would eventually worship Satan was not only accurate, but also deeply insightful. His ability to see this coming has allowed us to prepare for the spiritual battle that lies at the heart of Groper War II. Under Nick's leadership, we will continue to fight against the forces of darkness, defending our faith, our values, and our nation from those who seek to undermine them. For this time, I'm going to be an avatar of people that are pro-Trump, but concerned. Pro-Trump, but don't like the campaign. I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and see you next time. Trump is going far enough, but don't want to speak openly.
I can say it. I'm completely independent. I will be the avatar. I will be your voice. This is about ensuring that Trump wins and it's about ensuring that Trump does the right thing. I don't want Kamala to be president. I don't want the border to be open. I don't want a Democrat to politically oppress us. But I'm deeply concerned about Trump's chances of winning, and I'm deeply concerned that once he wins, we're going to get a repeat of 2017, which is total hijack of the Trump administration from within by the GOP. I'm trying to prevent that.